Right now it's Liverpool applying the pressure up the left with Lawley. She's got all the way down to the byline. Flashed across goal, deflected and into the back of the net. And Liverpool take the lead. And it's Kearns back in the lineup that's just tapped it past Megan Walsh and bounced it into the side netting. And Missy Abo Kearns with her first of the season for Liverpool. And the Albion are behind Broadfield again. Sari again. Robinson in space on the right. Robinson looking to cross from deep towards Carter. It goes first contact from Elizabeth Turland. And she has the Albion's first goal at the Broadfield Stadium this season. And that's what happens when Katie Robinson is allowed space to cross. Put it right on the head of Turland, who crashed the box with such speed and crashes her header into the bottom left hand corner. And just as quickly as the Albion went behind, they find a response again. Lee gets there first. Ziggiotti, Turland, run ahead from Danielle Carter. Carter breaking away in the penalty area, spinning, shooting and firing past the post. And the Seagulls almost have a second. And Danielle Carter just couldn't get the ball out of her feet in time to test Cummings towards the penalty spot, flicked away, drops to Carter, her volley's blocked, runs to Ziggiotti, blocked once more, Albion won a penalty, referee says yes, Seagulls with a spot kick inside 25 minutes and the pressure has been building since that equaliser. Danielle Carter, it's 2-1 Seagulls, cool as you like from the former England international and she's got her fourth goal involvement in her last two games. Straight to Williams, Turland, Kayleigh Green, Robinson joining in, right-hand side. Katie Robinson breaking past the man, lobbed over Cummings and into the back of the net. And Katie Robinson has made it 3-1 Seagulls. It might have been a cross, but she won't care. And what a couple of weeks this is turning into for Katie Robinson. A cross drifted across the penalty area, which just looped over Cummings and into the bottom left-hand corner. Infield van der Sanden finds Coivisto with a nice crossfield pass. Coivisto to shoot and a nice save from Megan Walsh, who just taps it behind her right hand post. And the former Seagull almost catching the Albion out there. In Albion territory, Furness. Driven diagonal ball into Lawley. It's a wonderful pass. It's a wonderful save from Megan Walsh, who denies Lawley from close range. It was a brilliant ball into Lawley. Walsh came up trumps though. Another ball back in the area. This one might drop to Coy Visto from the angle across goal. And Van der Sanden has one back. And Liverpool are looking to make the last 15 minutes of this game interesting. Van der Sanden's first of the season and just her third appearance. She's battling back to full fitness and she's back on the score sheet. Hines, just right of centre, deflected effort, might loop over Megan Walsh, hits the ball, back to Furness, and she's cleared the crossbar with her effort. The Seagulls are surviving, but only just. Flaherty, looking for van der Sanden, it bounces right into the path of the Dutch winger, van der Sanden's cross into the middle of the area, Furness! Liverpool have an equaliser in added time, and it's Furness to break Albion hearts on home soil. 1-0 down, 3-1 up, but Liverpool have made it 3-3 again. And another topsy-turvy Albion game might end in heartbreak.